Hey, how you guys doing? Thank you for joining me here on SB252. So Florida football team who just finished their season just the other day, finished four and seven on the year, but this just in, Dan Mullen is gonna go in as the head coach for Florida. They just hired him, they're finalizing a deal. They're working it out. As we all know, Florida just dropped out of the Chip Kelly sweepstakes just the other day, and now Dan Mullen will be their next head coach. And Dan Mullen has a history of being a successful football coach. He right now was the coach at Mississippi State who went 8-4 and four on the year. Their only four losses were within the SEC. They only lost to Georgia, Alabama, Auburn, and Old Miss. And three of those teams are teams that we're talking about who can possibly make the college football playoffs. So Mississippi State, he had his team playing very well, and they almost beat Alabama just the other week. This is a guy who's 5-2 and two in bowl games at Mississippi State. He also used to be the quarterback's coach in Utah back in 2004 when he coached Alex Smith when he went undefeated. He also was Tim Tebow's quarterback's coach and also offensive coordinator back at Florida back in 2006 and 2008. That's why Dak Prescott came out just a few minutes ago and said that I didn't think that this coach would go back to Florida, but he did. So he also led Tebow to Heisman's and championship. So a very experienced coach, especially on offense, very talented coach, and he can really make things work here at Florida because Florida, offensively speaking, not the best team. I remember they got a good win this year versus Tennessee, and they had a Hail Mary catch for a touchdown, and they won the game. But at that moment in the season, that was their first offensive touchdown of the year since the bowl game they had played the year before. So Florida had a disappointing year this year, only had their coach for two and a half seasons, so they decided to fire him a few weeks ago. Now they're going to bring in Dan Mullen rather than Chip Kelly. Good move for this football team. One interesting fact, though, is Dan Mullen has never beaten Nick Saban in Alabama, but he hasn't had the right squad. So give him good recruiting class, a good football team in Florida. He'll make things happen. Thank you guys for watching SB252. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you like instant news like this, we got you covered here on SB252. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll talk to you guys later.